getting ready to hike in to I think Fall Creek's Fall, Falls Creek Falls. So this is the parking lot for Sipsy River Trailhead. Me and uh, Jax have made it here. And the other guys are coming a little later. So this is what the place looks like where you park. And we'll see what it looks like here shortly on the trail. I got a camp set up at the Warbonnet Superfly and the Blackbird XLC will be my accommodations for the evening. And it sounds like we might have a little thunderstorm rolling in. So we'll see how that works out here shortly. But we're just above Falls Creek Falls here in the Sipsy Wilderness. You got Jack's over here across from me and his setup we'll get a little more info on that a little later but uh he's all set up for the evening right over there so we're gonna look around for a little water and be ready for a little rain in case it comes so this is the the view from up here at camp right over that way i don't know if you can tell but back over straight that way through those tops of those trees is where the falls creek falls normally trickles you can see uh, you probably can't see it but there's a little bitty trickle drop into the rocks down there from up this way and this is the camp spot just above falls creek falls here uh, there's a fire ring right there we won't be having a fire tonight there's a fire ban burn ban here and this well, and a good chunk of most of the state, but definitely here in the Sipsy, no campfires allowed. Even though it looks like it's about to rain. But, uh, this is our camp for the so night. Here's where we park, guys, right here. And then we come up north, everybody knows where we're at now, Fall Creek Falls, which is incredibly <laughs> easy to get to and understand. So we're going to come back out to the trail, and we're going to take a right. And we're gonna, it's 209, and we're going to shoot. That's a, that's a pretty big glare, but all the way around here until we get to this spot which is really well marked 202 and we're gonna do a creek crossing based on the water level though probably not even gonna to have to uh, put our water shoes on we're gonna shoot around this way come all the way down until it hits 201 and we're gonna go north and 201 becomes 206 for some reason right here at the 209 junction and we'll keep coming north and uh, there are a couple of sites that we're going to look for here. So, let's see. There's uh, Shiprock and what's that one called? The Needle, Needle Eye. So that's that's kind of what we're going we're gonna to explore for a little bit. Now, Mark and those guys are going to park up here at Thompson tonight and come south. And what we're going to have to do is throw some chem lights out on this, on this. I expect us to stay on the east side of the trail. So we'll put chem lights out so we'll know where to come out. 
especially since there's no there's a fire ban, they won't be able to see the fire. Right, so we've had lunch and we hiked up to the Randolph Trailhead to see if they had any trash facilities and they did not. So now we're back on the trail. And we're gonna take trail 201 to Ship Rock and the Eye of the Needle, I think. We're gonna camp somewhere in there this evening. So it's uh, about 12:30. So, we'll see what we find from here on out. Apparently this is what? Hen or chicken of the wood? Or? Chicken of the 